Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. So guys, this video is gonna be a very, very important video because it covers the new iOS 14.5 updates and how to comply with those policies so your conversion ads can run successfully. Now to go through and ensure that your conversion ads run successfully, there's gonna be five steps that you guys have to go through and do. So step number one is to make your pixel. Step number two is to connect your Facebook account to Shopify. Step number three is to verify your domain. Step number four is to set up your aggregated event measurements. And step number five is to pair your catalog. Now I'm gonna go through and walk you through this step by step just so that way you guys know how to do it, just to ensure that you do set it up correctly. All right, so essentially what I'm gonna do is go through and start completely fresh. So I'm gonna go through and make my pixel first, and then I'll go ahead and work my way up from there. So the very first thing we wanna go through and do is make a pixel. Now to go through and make a pixel, it's very, very simple. What you guys wanna go ahead and do is just go inside of your business settings, and then from there, select on data sources, and then select pixels. Once you're in this section, press on add. Now I'll go ahead and name the pixel something like Stallone's test pixel, just to make it very simple. So Stallone test pixel. Once you guys type in the pixel name, go through and select on continue. Once you guys are taken to this page, you can then back out. Fantastic guys, so now we've gone ahead and made our pixel. So what you guys wanna do from here is make sure the pixel is connected to your ad account. Now to go ahead and connect your pixel to your ad account, it's very, very simple. Just select the pixel that you guys just made and then from there, select on connected assets. In this section, press on add assets and then select the ad account that you guys have available. So the one I want to use is gonna be number one. So essentially my ad account name is just number one. So I'll select my ad account and then I'll select add. One ad account has been added to the Pixel Stallone's test. So now I've gone through and successfully added my Pixel to my ad account. So that is step one complete. So step one was to go through and make the Pixel, which we've just done. Now, step two is to connect Facebook to our Shopify account. Now, this is also slightly different. So what you guys wanna go through and do in the pixel section is select the three lines up the very top to go into business tools. Once you guys are in business tools, you wanna go through and select events manager. So just scroll down and select events manager. Once you guys are an events manager, be sure to press on the pixel that you just made. So mine is Stallone test pixel. That is the one I just created. From here, you wanna press on continue pixel setup, select on Facebook pixel, and then press on connect. Now on this page guys, be sure to press on user partner. And then for the partner, we'll go through and scroll down until we find Shopify. So select Shopify. Once you guys are onto this page, you then wanna go back onto Shopify store and complete the setup there. I'll just go back onto my Shopify store. So now this is a test store I've gone through and created. It's called Stallone Marketing. It's just for the purpose of this video so I can go through and show you guys how to set up everything successfully. Now to connect Facebook to Shopify store, it's very simple, just select online store. Once you're in online store, press on preferences. Just scroll down until you see Facebook Pixel and then select Set Up Facebook. Shopify is now gonna ask you if you wanna add Facebook to your account. So just scroll down and select on Add Sales Channel. You'll now be taken to this page where it asks you to set up your Facebook marketing. So it's a very simple process. Just go ahead and select all the information that they're asking you to do. So what I'll go ahead and do now is select my Facebook account. So I'll press on connect account and type in my Facebook password and then I'll be back. Once you guys do go through and connect your account, it's gonna say this little message, just press on continue. 
Fantastic guys. So now my Facebook account is connected to my Shopify store so I can now proceed with the next step. So the next step is to add your business manager. So just go through and search for your business manager. Once you find it, just press on connect. So my business manager is called Beauty Pen. So I'll just find Beauty Pen, which is right here and I'll select on connect. Once your business manager is selected, it will then ask you to connect the ad account. So my ad account is called number one, as I mentioned previously. So I'll just go through and connect my ad account. So I'll press on connect. After the ad account is connected, the next step is to connect your Facebook page. So my Facebook page is called the test page. So I'll just go through and connect the test page as my Facebook page. So I'll press on connect. Fantastic, so you guys can see the account is connected, the business manager is connected, the ad account, the Facebook page, and the data sharing has all been connected successfully. Um, in terms of data sharing, you can go through and select any option you like. Me personally, guys, I do go through and select maximum because that is gonna give you the most information possible. And it's also going to allow you to see more data. So in terms of the data sharing, go through and select on maximum. Once the maximum option is selected, you then wanna scroll down and select your pixel. Now, a pixel might already be connected, so if it's the wrong pixel that you guys have just created, you wanna go through and press on disconnect, and then from there, just reconnect the correct pixel. So in this case, guys, I'll just connect my pixel, which is gonna be Stallone test pixel. I'll press on connect. Once you guys have connected the correct pixel, then from there, it's gonna ask you to make a Facebook commerce account. So it's very simple. Just press on create new. It will then automatically create one for you. As soon as that is created, go to the final step, which is your terms and conditions. So press on review terms, select accept terms, and then press on finish setup. Fantastic guys, so now we've gone through and connected our Facebook account successfully to our Shopify store. I'll just go ahead and close this. What you wanna do now is go back onto Facebook and select on this button that says I've completed the setup on Shopify. Press on next. It will now ask you to verify your pixel to ensure it's working correctly. So just go through and type in your domain name. My domain name was stallonemarketing.com. So I'll just type in stallonemarketing.com and then I'll press on send traffic. Once you guys press on the send traffic, just go down onto your website, scroll around for a bit, press on catalog, just go to your page. Now we'll just go ahead and wait for that to send traffic and then it should say active. Perfect, so now that it says active, we are now good to go. Also, just one thing with this, guys, you wanna make sure that ad blocker is turned off. So if you guys do have ad blocker enabled onto your browser, be sure that it is turned off. Otherwise, it will say it is not active. So just make sure it's turned off. And then from there, just go ahead and proceed to verify your pixel. So then once it says active, you can then press on next. Everything is now set up correctly, so we can press on finish. And that is how you guys successfully connect your Pixel to your Shopify account. Okay, now on to step three. So step three is to verify your domain. Now to verify your domain, it's very simple as well. Just go back into your business settings. So I'll press on the three lines. I'll press on business settings. Inside of business settings, scroll down and select brain safety and then press on domains. In the domain name box, be sure to type in the domain that you purchased. So mine was stallonemarketing.com. And then press on add domain. It's now gonna show you three ways to verify your domain onto your store. So the three common ways is meta tag verification, HTML file upload, and also DNS verification. We're gonna use the easiest method, which is meta tag verification. Now, in order to verify your domain, there's gonna be a code here. Just be sure to press this code to copy to clipboard. Also, if you want to, you can just go ahead and highlight the whole thing and then copy that. But to make things easy, just press on the code and it should copy to clipboard automatically. Go back onto your Shopify store and select on online store. Press on actions and then select edit code. 
Once you're inside of the edit code section, select theme.liquid. Inside of theme.liquid, you wanna press on command find if you're on a MacBook or control F if you're on a Windows computer. So I'll press on command F. Once you press command F, type in slash head. And then once you type slash head, it should take you to the very bottom of the head section. What you wanna do here is just make a few spaces. So right above the head section, make a few spaces and then paste your code. Once you paste the code, select on save. You have now added the meta tag onto your website. So go back onto Facebook and then press on verify. You guys might notice when you press on verify, it might not connect right away because it does take up to 30 minutes and sometimes it might also go through and take up to 24 hours. So once you guys paste the code onto your website, be sure to give it up to 24 hours and then it should verify successfully once you press on verify. So if I press on verify now, it's most likely not gonna work. There you go, so it says domain verification failed. Just be sure to give it 30 minutes to 24 hours and then press on verify and it should go ahead and work after that. What I'll go through and do now is just wait until this does allow me to verify it and then we can proceed from there. Alrighty guys, fantastic. So now my domain is verified. I gave it a few hours, it was like seven to eight hours um, and now it's been verified. So don't forget the domain verification process can take 30 minutes up to 24 hours. So if you guys go through and verify it and it says that verification has failed, just give it a bit more time to go ahead and verify. Okay, so now that my domain has been verified, it's now time to move on to step four, which is setting up my aggregated event measurements. Now this is gonna be very important, otherwise our conversions campaign will not be able to run. So to set up your aggregate event measurements, what you wanna do is select the three lines again to go into business tools. Once you guys are inside of business tools, select on events manager. Once you guys are in the events manager, select the pixel that you created. So mine is Stallone test pixel. And then you wanna go through and select aggregated event measurements. So just scroll down and select aggregated event measurement. Once you're here, select on configure web events. It will then take you to a page that shows you your domains. And in this section, be sure to select your domain. Select on manage events. It will then come up with a box that says edit these events and then press on edit. What you guys will go through and do now is select the highest priority event and for us that is gonna be purchases. So you guys wanna go through and make sales which is why we select purchases as the highest priority event. There's gonna be four different events we're gonna add. So the first one is purchase, the second one is gonna be initiate checkouts, the third one is add to cart and the fourth one is view content. Now to go through and set up your events, just select on add event at the top right. You can see that it says highest priority. So our highest priority is gonna be purchases. So in the pixel custom conversion section, select the pixel that you guys created. So for me, it's gonna be Stallone test pixel. And then in the event, you wanna select purchases. So just scroll down until you find purchases and then select purchase. And that is our first event completed. So essentially what we've done is that we're telling Facebook when we do launch our campaigns, the highest priority we're after is purchases. Now it's time to go through and add our second event. So our second event is gonna be initiate checkout. So I'll press the add event button again, and then I'll select my pixel. And for the event, I will choose initiate checkouts. So I'll scroll down until I find it. There it is, fantastic. You now wanna add a third event, which is add to cart. So select on add event again, choose your pixel, and then select add to carts. And our fourth and final event is gonna be view content. So I'll press on add event, I'll select my pixel, and then for the event type, I will find and press on view contents. So let me just see where view contents is. There it is at the very top. Once you've entered all four events, you are now completed. So essentially what we're telling Facebook is that the highest priority is gonna be purchases and the least priority is gonna be view contents. Once you guys have configured all four events, you are now completed, so select on the submit button. Press on yes, I confirm these changes. So select on apply. You guys are now good to go. So you've successfully changed the event configurations and this is step four completed. 
If I go through and select my domain again, you can see that all four events are in fact in this section. The last and final step is gonna to be to pair your catalog. Now to pair your catalog, it's very, very simple. Just go back into these three lines. So press on business tools and you wanna scroll down until you find commerce manager. There it is. So at the very bottom, it says commerce manager. So I will select that button. You will then see the Shopify commerce account that you created in this section here. So be sure to press on this box. On the left hand side, press on settings, select business assets. At the very bottom of the page where it says event sources, you wanna make sure that your pixel is connected. If the pixel is not connected, it will then ask you to connect your pixel. So be sure to select the pixel that you created previously. So in this case, it's gonna be Stallone's test pixel. However, in this case, my pixel is connected. So I am now good to go. That is the fifth and final step completed. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Now, once you guys go through and you start running the conversions campaign, you will not have any issues and you'll be ready to go. It is quite a lengthy process, but the process is in fact very, very simple. Everything we've done in this video is gonna ensure that we do comply with the new Facebook policies. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, that is fantastic. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, then click the like button. If you want to subscribe and be notified when the next videos are released, click the subscribe button and click the notification button. And finally, if you have any comments or you want to share your thoughts or anything you found valuable, then leave a comment below. Take care.